Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Schumer cries in panic after Trump's order to keep illegal families together backfires on Dems. President Donald Trump has been feeling the wrath of his critics a bit extra this week. The mainstream media took a picture from the Obama days that showed children in cages and people thought it was a recent photograph. That prompted people to express their outrage towards Trump with many of them not realizing the picture was from before Trump was president, meaning that it was during former President Obama's era. Before it was too late, the Internet was scourged with misinformation and people slamming Trump for things that were already in place before he took office. Some of the immigration reforms taking place now might also date back to Bill Clinton in 1996 when he worked on immigration reform, all the way up to Barack Obama who deported millions, and now President Trump who seems to want a zero-tolerance reinforcement of immigration laws. Instead of looking up the information to see where the separation of families seemed to begin, the angered people blindly continue expressing their fake rage as a means to show hatred towards Trump for continuing with the same immigration ways that Democrats seemed to put into place years ago. Don't forget about the Elian Gonzalez story in which an agent pointed a loaded weapon in his direction during a heated battle of immigration and custody during the early 2000s, 16 years before Trump was ever a consideration for president. As Trump takes heat for the parents who break the law by crossing the border illegally, he's also working to end the familial separation that everyone began magically complaining about. Meanwhile, families in America are separated on a daily basis whenever someone commits a crime and goes to jail. But it seems like the liberal Democrats want to protect the illegal immigrants who break the law. Trump has to come to a solution and he signed an executive order to help stop that. However, it doesn't seem like that would be enough for the Democrats who constantly go after Trump by badgering him with nonsense instead of trying to fix problems by working together. Chuck Schumer, in particular, was highly critical of Trump, but does anyone remember him being this upset when Barack Obama deported 3.1 million illegal immigrants? Trump has been trying to fix the problem that so many of his critics complained about, but his Democrat opponents still couldn't seem to be pleased. This New York Times excerpt provided more insight on Schumer's critical moment against Trump. In an hour-long meeting on Capitol Hill with House Republicans, Mr. Trump declined to explicitly back either one, saying he would sign both bills. Republican leaders are trying to rally support for the compromise bill. The president was very firm in explaining why it's so important that he gets this bill to his desk so that we can solve some problems and secure our border, said Rep. Steve Scalise of Louisiana, the Republican whip. He added, We want to secure our border, we want to reunite kids. Our bill does just that. Mr. McConnell said he planned to reach out to Democrats to support his conference's effort, hoping to staunch the political damage from the administration's zero-tolerance policy that has led to heartbreaking stories of children separated from their mothers. But Senator Chuck Schumer of New York, the Democratic leader, immediately shot down the Republican approach, saying that Mr. Trump could, and should, use his executive authority, not legislation, to quickly end the family separations. Anyone who believes this Republican Congress is capable of addressing this issue is kidding themselves, Mr. Schumer said in a statement. The president can end this crisis with the flick of his pen, and he needs to do so now. Mr. Trump has the power on his own to change that zero-tolerance policy at the border, which would once again allow border agents and prosecutors the discretion to allow families to remain together after crossing illegally into the United States. But it would also allow those families to be released while their court proceedings go forward, something Mr. Trump opposes. It almost seems like nothing Trump does will ever please Chuck Schumer. Perhaps we take a trip back to the time when Chuck Schumer cried about Trump and immigration. There are a few things to remember before people criticize Trump for the border activity. Bill Clinton signed the Illegal Immigration Reform and Immigrant Responsibility Act, FIRA, in 1996 to help pave the way for what's going on today. Barack Obama deported 3.1 million illegal immigrants, most ever by any president. Being tough on immigration has been a thing for many years, so why is Trump getting all of the heat for it? It's because he's not a Democrat. Many others have contributed to what's going on today and critics may want to check what party they're from before they criticize President Trump for things that other people set into place. It's like blaming the bus driver for when the smelly girl in the back lets one rip after eating three cans of beans. It wasn't the driver's fault that the bus might stink, but he's got to drive it. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.